Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about my newest Amazon coffee favorites. So let's get started with this video. I try my best not to repeat any products from Amazon on these videos. So if you wanna see, I do, I think I do have a playlist. If not, I'll create one of all my Amazon ones. But it's been a while since I've done an Amazon. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna show you guys all my recent favorites that are from Amazon. And I hope you guys find something good. I feel like a lot of the things that I I'm gonna share with you guys are functional but also cute so yes okay the first one is kind of cheating because I literally just bought it a week ago but it's already become my favorite cup <laughs> and I I just I love this shape I've been wanting it it's this cup right here it's by the brand Ovalware, but it looks a lot similar to the fellow cup now the fellow ones I think you get two for 40 this one when i purchased it it was like two for 34 and it might have had a coupon i'm not quite sure but it's a little bit cheaper than the fellow ones and it's literally the same the same shape in my opinion i know that this shape is specifically made for the fellow one to do like pour over where you can rest the thing but this brand doesn't have that system i just wanted the shape of the cup and it's double walled the reviews on there do mention how the glass is really thin some reviews are really good some are bad and i'm glad i just bought it sometimes you guys just have to buy it and see for yourself that's the good thing about amazon if you don't like it most of the time you can return it they make it really easy and i'm glad i did because the glass is thick i don't know what these people are talking about i have even put it through the dishwasher and it worked perfectly i've used it in a lot of my coffee reels i've used it in my stories and i did like a full unboxing over on my tiktok if you guys want to check that out but this glass is so beautiful and i'm already running out of breath talking because of this pregnancy so bear with me if i sound like i'm running a marathon technically it feels like i am the next item is this cup right here this is like a tea is it focusing this is like a tea brewing cup this is your main cup that you drink out of and then you would put the tea in this little compartment and then let it brew cover it while you're brewing it for a few minutes and then when you're done you just take this out and you're left with your tea at night since i can't really drink a lot of coffee with this pregnancy i at night i'll have like a caffeine free tea and it's been really nice to do it in this cup I've used it a couple times in my Instagram reels and a few of you guys enjoyed it. I actually bought it for yourself, so I thought I'd share it because I think it's really cute and it's functional. I haven't put it in the dishwasher because it's wood. Usually with wooden things, I try not to. So, you know, to preserve the, the wood, it prevents it from cracking. So I hand wash this, just keep that in mind. But it has a really cute design. I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a mountain, like a mountain top design and bossed in it and then the wooden handle makes it look very very chic so yeah so it's three pieces very nice absolutely think it's really nice and functional that chamberlain coffee they have little tea bags that are filled with coffee so i think even though this is not a coffee item it's more like a tea item if you have that product i think it'll work really nice with this and then let it cool off add some ice and it's kind of like a cold brew but also this product came with tea bags so you could also add just grounds to the tea bags, like coffee grounds, and then do some sort of cold brew that way. But I mainly use it for, for tea. And I promise this video is not going to be just cups, but this is another cup that I had recently bought on Amazon. And it's hard to tell, but it's ribbed and it's double walled. Ribbed inside and then double walled casing like you can't really feel the ribs outside but when you use it with coffee i feel like it's so pretty so beautiful and it just makes your coffee look even more delicious it's a two pack i feel like this one is also one of my fave iced coffee right now i've been religiously using this one but they're i think they're similar in size this one's just less like curvy it's just straight up and down but the ridges in person make it look very very luxe and so this is one of my favorites recently that i bought from amazon that i wanted to share with you guys okay moving on from cups for now this if you have the bambino plus so the manual espresso machine that i have right here where you use a port filter everything's manual the grinder if you have that machine you need to get yourself a screen so this is a screen that you would put on top of your filter i have I have a bottomless filter so once you do everything like the tamping distributing everything 
This sits on top of your coffee, and when you brew it, since it acts as a screen filter, the water is evenly distributed. So even if you probably didn't do a good job of tamping or distributing, it prevents water channeling, so the water flows through the coffee evenly to give you a better tasting espresso. Um, it has definitely fixed any spewing that happens with this specific portafilter. Even if I do everything right, I feel like sometimes it does do that without this but since getting this and using it i feel like it solved a lot of my problems it is definitely a tool that is not expensive it's 20 bucks i think and it's probably my favorite tool when it comes to manual espresso so just thought i mentioned it it is a must i think it's if you get anything from this video and you have the machine whether it's the barista pro touch oracle whatever you need a screen thank me later if you get it I think you would really enjoy it. And this one specifically comes with a little like wooden holder. Like I said, a lot of the things that I buy tend to look cute, but most importantly, they're functional. So I think the specific seller sells just this, so if you don't want this, um, but it's nice to just have it stored away there instead of it just laying somewhere and getting damaged. So yeah, just make sure that when you do check it out, you get the correct size for your portafilter. For example, this one is a size 53.3 millimeters that will fit the 54 millimeters. So I hope that makes sense. There's two other sizes, but those don't apply to my portafilter. When you click on each size, it'll tell you what size it belongs to, if that makes sense. If not, DM me on Instagram. <laughs> I'll be happy to help you out. All right, the next item are these spoons. And for as long as you guys have probably seen me throughout my coffee journey i've always had different types of spoons i think i started with some spoons that i got at bed bath and beyond and then i moved to the nespresso, nespresso spoons and then i bought just random spoons from anthropology and i feel like i've landed on these and i want to stay with these like i feel like these are nice just pretty much all year round so these are from amazon i think they're a pack of eight and they come in different colors so if gold is not your thing they have rose gold they have silver I even believe they have a black, so if like, you like that black aesthetic, I think they even have black. I think it's a pack of eight, and they're the perfect size spoons to mix your coffee. If you have a deeper glass, it might not be the best, but usually I tend to stick with like glasses that are easily reachable with these. I think these are about five inches long, and they're perfect. And I keep them in this little cup that I got from Starbucks and they sit pretty nicely and i also have these heart spoons but these are no longer available from anthropology at least i don't think so and they just sit on that little pedestal in there i feel like regardless of what i do with my bar they always will go with the aesthetic if you know what i mean okay the next few items are for those that also have the bambino plus um i was talking about the port filter this one i did buy from amazon but i think it's currently sold out they do have other colors with like a darker walnut woody color so i'm gonna put the link for this one where you have all three colors just know that if you don't see this one it's just because it's sold out but i'm sure they'll bring it back it's a really nice wooden porta filter it's really really well made and to preserve the wood you can actually unscrew the bottom just so that you get to clean the metal part thoroughly just really well and then you don't run the risk of wetting your wooden handle so i think it's a very nice bottomless porta filter it is on the pricey side but again it's well made and if you take care of it it's going to last you a very long time i spoke about funnels back when i was reviewing this machine and i had two this is the one that i've stuck with i haven't even used the other one this one attaches to the porta filter so if you do have your machine or your grinder you don't have to hold it while you're getting the grounds you actually can just put it there like it'll stay there like it'll stay on the machine as you're grinding so it locks into place like that and then you would put it in your machine and you don't have to hold it while you're grinding with the other funnel and it's a funnel that i see a lot of people use it's okay but you have to stand there <laughs> until you get all your grounds and i just rather be doing other things it's a few seconds but it to me it makes a difference so for that reason i've been really enjoying this one that locks into place into the porta filter just make sure it's compatible with your porta filter because it's all different if you have one from crema 
or even um, the ones that come with the machine, the bubble machines, then I'm sure it should fit. All right, the next item is this cute little shaker that I found on Amazon. <laughs> obviously on amazon i think it holds eight ounces so i really like the size of this i think that's why i mainly got it i used to use one from anthropology that was really cute and then i used to have another one that was like a crystal with like like a crystal glass cup with a stainless steel top but it was so heavy both of them were so heavy and i feel like i had a shake with both hands this one it locks really well there's no spilling and i can do it with one hand especially if i'm filming <laughs> reels so if you do that too if you're filming reels and you just need one hand to shake and the other hand to hold your phone this is a really nice size and it holds i feel like the amount of coffee that you need it's usually what a double espresso i don't think we're shaking up coffee <laughs> we're shaking up espresso so i feel like it's like the perfect size for that and then if you don't want the ice after, then you can sift it out and just take the espresso out through there. I usually like the ice and just dump it out. But this is a cute little shaker that I like, mainly because of the size. Okay, here's another like cheat item. I just got these. You've seen me use glass straws and mainly I use pink straws, clear straws, the orange ones for the fall, and they're all glass. So it's a milky white that you get, a nice smoky gray, and then a black one. I love these colors. I feel like it adds a different thing. If you are into the Halloween aesthetic, <laughs> you might like these during the Halloween time. I mainly like the white one because it's just really nice and milky. It's like a milky jaded kind of white. And then your black and white straws. It's a three pack and they're supposed to be like a travel friendly. They come with a case and the uh, cleaning thing. So if you're always out and about, you can put them in the case. Let me show you the case, hold on. This is the case that it comes with. And so you would open it up. You could fit your um, pipe cleaner that it comes with. And then all three straws would fit in here like this. But obviously I go nowhere <laughs> with my coffee these days. So I just have them on hand for my coffee bar. But I thought it was really nice and interesting. I think it was like nine bucks or 10 bucks. But the colors, the colors drew me in. All right, last two items, I have mentioned them before, but I feel like I must talk about them because they are the number one item that I get asked about on Instagram, and I feel like it's hard for you guys to find them. So let me show you. And no, it's not my syrup bottle. It's actually the, the sport, the pour spouts and the covers. So the pour spouts, they're linked on my Amazon storefront, but I'll also link them in this video. They fit these bitter bottles and they also fit the Monin bottles and the Torani bottles. So if you have like the 25 fluid ounce bottles, they will fit those as well. Just like this one. I have them in pour spouts. The reason I have them in pour spouts is because I despise the pumps. I hate them <laughs> with a passion. They attract a lot of ants because there's always spillage, I feel like. With these, there's not. It's a smooth flowing spout and there's no gunk in them. Like I don't clean these after I use, you know, after I pour them, they just, they just stay clean. It's a clean pour. So it's a 12 pack, very inexpensive. And then these are by Monin, but they sell them on Amazon in a 12 pack. And I just put them in like that and they are sealed. I've never had any loss of flavor i've never had ants coming around so really check into these covered i feel like they're just nicer um but yeah both of these are linked on my amazon storefront as well as these bottles i'm sure one of you guys is gonna ask these bottles in a pack of three and i just put like my top three syrups that i like and then just refill them just so i don't have all of my syrups on my coffee bar but yeah i know i've mentioned them before but i thought i mentioned them again because i get a lot of questions on those now i also have gotten questions as far as like how do you measure out the syrup because you know usually what people will say like oh you know two pumps of french vanilla with the pour spouts if you don't want to be measuring with a tablespoon i've noticed that if you pour full pour four seconds equals one tablespoon give or take but usually i'll measure out in a tablespoon and it's either one or two tablespoons for my most of my coffees a lot of my double shot espresso lattes 
will most likely be one tablespoon but that's generally how i get around it i know the pumps i don't know what the pumps equal to maybe you'll have to like experiment that way once you get them but just know it's usually one to two tablespoons of syrup so yeah that i think completes this video of all of my like recent favorites and if you guys have any questions on any of the products or how they work let me know i tend to respond more on instagram so if you need like an immediate answer dm me on my instagram but if not just leave the comment here and i'll get to you guys eventually so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye